And you smell it. It's not, it's not all the garbage and the heat. It's the weekend. <laughs> I was going to say, I it's only smell here. the heat. <laughs> <laughs> there are fun things to do here in Southern California, even in the heat. Michael Giuliano is an editor at Time Out Los Angeles. He's back with some of his top picks. First of all, thank you for being here. Of course. But there is a huge celebration happening at Santa Monica Pier. And I didn't realize it's 115 years old. She doesn't look a day over 114. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and thankfully, this is actually a great way to kind of escape the heat a bit. Yeah. So uh, tonight, starting around 530, there's this free celebration that kicks off at the pier, like you said, end of Route 66, right? yeah. 115 years old. Um, so the kind of main event is gonna be a screening of Barbie. Uh, all this stuff is for free, I should say. So that starts around 7.30. There'll also be like live music, games. Um, it's not a birthday party without birthday cake and ice cream. Oh, so you true. can pick that up from Pure Burger. Uh, I think there's like a poetry kickoff. Oh, that's There's cool. like lots of fun stuff you can do. It's dog friendly, um, you know, Parking is always like a, a little, little challenging. Yeah, yes. but like try, you know, try the city lots near there because like the parking deck on the pier itself is where where they'll be showing the movie. So kind of just keep that in mind. You can also kind of cycle over if you're yeah, in absolutely. A, a neighborhood if you're in the area, nearby. Great, yeah, great choice. And it will be cooler at the beach. Yes. Still hot, but cooler. Yes. Uh, also, I heard there's free cheeseburgers. We keep showing this video. They look amazing. Yeah. So for the win, uh, they're one of like the you know many smash burger places that have popped up in recent years, but. These are legit, like these are really good. They look great. Um, and they're opening a new location at the Beverly Center on okay. Saturday. And you know, a lot of restaurants do these promos where it's like, all right, come early, you'll get free food. But the first 500 people 500. will get a free cheeseburger, which it's usually like, like is 50. Great. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's like 500 is super generous. Also, first 500 people, beer and wine. Oh. Um, they're also gonna have some raffles for like a thousand dollars or a twenty-five dollar gift card. They're gonna be raffling off merch. Um, well, they're going big. Yeah, they're go they're going big. And the thing I'll say is like, if there's something I've learned about Angelinos, it's that we love free stuff. Uh, so <laughs> we do. Even though because everything else is so expensive. Yeah. So even though 500 is a big number, like. A lot of people will probably be there. Yes, um, that's true. So it opens at 11, so just kind of keep that in mind. But at least like since it's at the Beverly Center, it is air conditioned. It's air conditioned. Air conditioned. <laughs> I was going to say, AC is key. Yes. Uh, another air conditioned spot you could check out an escape room. Yes, another mall, another place with AC. Uh, so Only Murders in the Building has this escape room that's popping up at Westfield Century City. Oh, how fun. Uh, our team at Time Out New York actually had a chance to check this out in New York last week because it kind of opened up earlier there than here. Oh, but okay. It's the same experience, uh, and basically you're tasked with finding this missing film reel uh, and you have about an hour to go through find a bunch of different combinations to locks um, there's so all sorts of like hidden entries and you know doors hidden in bookcases and secret it's passageways. so fun it, those those things are fun if you've never done an escape room like it really is a lot of fun it's, it's fun it can be frustrating when it you're like be. where is the that, opening that's why though it's good to bring a group yeah uh, it's up to eight people per oh, cool. session um if you don't fill it out you could get stuck with randos okay. but you know uh, it's fifty dollars per person which is like actually pretty standard for, for these an type escape of things. room yeah i um, mean you know it's an hour-long experience so yeah. That, check it out. Uh, finally, though, we got to get back to Santa Monica because it is yeah. going to the dogs this weekend. Yeah, Saturday is Day of the Dog, and this is just the cutest event imaginable. Um, if you have a pup, and again, like, you know, it's going to be hot, so thankfully oh my gosh, it's coastal. So cute. There is a pop up uh, surf station, there's a fashion <laughs> show, there's races, as you see here, there's all sorts of games. There's um, a ball pit, a foam party, uh, a pool. There's supposed to be a little snow park, though I don't know how long. Yeah, that that'll last. last. Yeah, we'll see. Um, and all of this is free and for a good cause. It supports uh, the Just Love Animal Society, which is this animal welfare nonprofit. Um, it sets up right on Main Street in Santa Monica. Oh, that's it takes so over cool. a couple blocks. And yeah, just like a really lovely afternoon with your dog. And yeah. if I didn't mention, this is on Saturday. It's on Saturday. Yeah. Is it all day? Uh, just Saturday afternoon. I think Saturday. it's from like a. I want to say like 11 to 5, but maybe double check those so hours. Do a little brunch and hang out. Yeah, with absolutely. The dog. All right, Michael, thank you so much for being here. Of course. For more information on all the events we just talked about, check out our website, kcalnews.com. Click Scene on TV.